Hey, my name is Mary Catherine Boss, and today is November 1st, 2010, the first day of Media Reduction Week. So I started off my day at home in Mississauga, and I had to catch an early train back to Brantford. So in the car on the way there, um, my dad had turned on 680 News, and I didn't even realize it was on. Um, it wasn't until later in the day that I noticed um, that I had been using the radio and it just seemed like such a routine thing that I barely even noticed it. Um, so my day was already starting off kind of badly um, and it just got worse once I got on the train. Um, there was a magazine on the seat in front of me. The girl in front of me was going on Facebook and MSN at the same time. There were two women on the seat beside me, both reading novels. There was a man in front of them furiously texting on his Blackberry. Um, there were a whole bunch of people with their iPods on. And there was a man at the front of the car who was speaking obnoxiously loudly on his phone. I honestly wanted to scream, are you kidding me? Exact things that I'm not allowed to use this week, all of a sudden, everybody around me is using. It felt like something out of a bad movie. And then I realized that they were always using them. That's just what people do on the train. That's usually what I do on the train too. But I was so preoccupied with my own media that I never noticed them before. Which is kind of sad because it's. I think it's very reflective of our society. We've become so engrossed in media that we barely even notice we're using it anymore. So, to pass the time on the train, instead of using media, I took a much-needed nap. Later in the day, I went to class and actually gave my full attention to what the prof was saying, which was interesting because everybody in front of me was on Facebook, so it was very tempting. Um, and during the afternoon, I spent a bunch of time with my roommate, just chatting. And I had a really nice dinner with the people next door to me, um, which was really cool because I don't talk to them that often. So it was kind of an experience that I wouldn't have had if I wasn't doing Media Reduction Week. Um, later in the day, I had to study for a big psychology test that I have tomorrow. So that's where the five hours of reading came from. I also found it really hard um, not to text because I had to coordinate a study group um, with a bunch of people, so it was kind of hard not texting them. Um, and the hardest thing, I think, though, was not going on Facebook, which I kind of expected. Um, it's only the first day, and I'm already starting to feel really disconnected and out of the loop. Um, so hopefully that'll be better tomorrow. Two interesting things about today were that I found it much easier to study when I knew that I didn't have any Facebook texting or music to distract me. I knew I couldn't use them so I found it much easier to focus. Um, so I really want to keep that up, especially um, past Media Reduction Week. Um, the other thing I found was that I was complaining a lot to my friends about not using media when it really isn't that bad. So that's one thing that I'm definitely going to try to improve on for the rest of the week. All in all, it was a good day, I learned a lot, and I survived my first day of Media Reduction Week. Yay! See you tomorrow!